Here is the tricky question from the real test. But somehow, I have a feeling that you might come up with the answer on your own. Let's go ahead and jump straight to the question. What is the new order of the objects after shapes have been switched? You're presented with the two sets of objects, before and after. Before has six objects, and after has the same objects, but in a different order. In your four different choices, you can choose from. Choice A for the new order, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Choice B, 3, 5, 6, 4, 2, 1. Choice C, 6, 4, 5, 2, 1, 3. And choice D, 4, 3, 2, 1, 6, 5. Do you think you know the answer? Let's see if we can solve this challenge together. To solve this challenge, you need to trace position of the object from the before to after. So, for example, if you look at the green triangle, you will see that the green triangle was in the position 2 before and after the switching moved into position 4. In general, these types of questions are not very challenging. The challenge becomes that you have limited time and you need to do all of this exercise mentally. For six objects, it might be tricky. So the advice here might be, you pick some specific objects and try to come up with the best answer based on just moving not all the objects and trying to determine all the objects' new positions, but only do it for some specific objects until you get to the correct answer. The correct choice here is choice C, 645213. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions in the test. But in case you need more practice problems, please make sure to check out my ebook in the description section of this video. Let's look at the intermediate level question we frequently see on the test. Which choice of numbers makes calculations accurate for the expression below? And you're presented with the expression, which leads to the count of 10. And you have four possible choices. You add numbers 1 and 2, then subtract number 3, and then add number 4 to get to the result 10. Do you think you know the answer? There are four possible options here. Choice A, 2, 4, 5, 3. Choice B, 3, 6, 4, 1. Choice C, 2, 3, 1, 6. And then choice D, 9, 7, 6, 3. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. Since we only have addition and subtraction, we can solve this expression by doing calculations from left to right. And in this case, the correct choice is choice C with the numbers 2, 3, 1, 6. When we add 2 to 3, we get to 5. 5 minus 1 equals 4, and 4 plus 6 equals 10. In more complex expression, you may need to use PEMDAS rule. And in PEMDAS, you have parentheses first, so you do calculations inside parentheses first, then you do powers and roots next, and then you do multiplications, divisions, before addition and subtraction. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer these types of questions on the test. Let me share with you an interesting question from the test. I have confidence that you might figure out the answer. Here's the question. What is the new order of the objects after shapes have been switched? And you have before sequence of the shapes, where you see five shapes, and after sequence of the shapes. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 5, 3, 1, 4, 2. Choice B, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4. Choice C, 5, 3, 2, 1, 4. And choice D, 5, 3, 2, 4, 1. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can figure out the answer on your own. Do you think you came up with the answer? Let's continue and try to solve this challenge together. The best way to solve this challenge is to look at the shape's positions before and after. For example, let's follow this yellow triangle. If you follow yellow triangle, it was in the position 1 before we started switching. And now it is in position 4. So what we do here, we have counts of the positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And those are original positions. Because triangle moved from the position 1 to the position 4, now in the correct answer, we will see 1 in the position 4 because 1 represents triangle's original position. You can follow all the shapes from their original position into their new position. And if you look at the answers, you will see that the after switching, the correct order 
is 5, 3, 2, 1, 4. Let's recap. Shapes have been moved into different positions between before and after. Each figure in before is sequentially numbered with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To answer this question, you need to trace the figures from before to the new position to after. And sample arrows presented here could be mentally done in your mind when you see this type of question on the test. The correct answer is choice C, 5, 3, 2, 1, 4. Let me share with you, not so challenging, but the question we see very frequently on the test. Which choice of numbers makes calculations accurate for the expression below? You have an expression where four numbers would need to be added up to get a result 20. In your four different choices, choice A, 1357, choice B, 2468, choice C, 3582, and choice D, 2581. Do you think you know the answer? Should be easy to calculate for you, so please try it, pause this video, and make sure you can get to the right solution. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. As I already mentioned, this particular example is very simple. You're just adding up numbers. And in this case, you pick the choice B, 2, 4, 6, 8. Once you add 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 plus 8 is 20. A lot of times, though, you may need to use PEMDAS rule, and PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, which includes powers and roots, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And this represents the order of the operation. As I already mentioned, in this particular case, the expression is rather simple. But a lot of times, you may need to use PEMDAS rule, and PEMDAS is something easy to remember. So make sure you use PEMDAS rule. In this case, we were only adding things. So there are no other operations, and there is no need to make priority for anything else. Hopefully you've nailed this question and answered it correctly. Let me share with you a tricky question from the real test. I have confidence that you might be able to figure out the answer. Here's the question. What is the new order of the objects after shapes have been switched? And you have before picture of the objects and then after picture of the objects. In the after picture of the objects, you have the same objects, but just in a different order. And you have four different choices. One, two, three, six, four, five. Choice B for the new order, three, six, five, 4, 2, 1. Choice C for the new order, 5, 1, 2, 6, 3, 4. And choice D, 4, 3, 2, 6, 1, 5. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge together. The best way to solve this challenge is to trace the object from its old position to the new position. For example, if you're looking at the green oval, it was in the position 1 before, and now it is in the position 2. If you trace all the objects, you will figure out that the previous positions were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the new positions are 5, 1, 2, 6, 3, 4. So the correct answer is choice C, 5, 1, 2, 6, 3, 4. The challenge is, is that you need to do all of this mentally, and you have about 30 seconds to complete it. So the more you practice, the better you become. Hope you've nailed this question and now know how to answer these types of questions on the test. Let's take a look at some considerations when you take an employment assessment test from home. A lot of tests are being conducted from home today. Let me give you some tips how to succeed on the home-based test and get the best score. Number one, you wanna gather everything you need ahead of time and organize yourself. Create a checklist of what you might need if you're taking tests from home. And then keep things in your bag. Maybe call it a test bag or test location from where you can just grab all these things that you need and put them on the table. Another important thing is consider setting up your computer ahead of time. Can you complete the reboot of your computer, close all the applications? Make sure you check internet connection. Make sure your camera is working, as most of the time you will be monitored. You can also ask provider about logistics. What is the test format? Is it multiple choice questions? Would you need to do any practice exercises? How many questions you will have? How test results are going to be scored? And what is the passing score, if any? You can also ask about using the calculator, using pen or paper. Is it allowed? 
some test providers may not allow for you to use any one of those. And last but not least, if you're monitoring, how do you use a bathroom? A lot of times when you monitor, companies provide you with unlimited test duration. But you need to check how can you use bathroom to make sure your test results are not invalidated. Also, if somebody calls you or texts you, how would you respond to those? Checking those things ahead of time helps you succeed on the test. Here is the interesting question, which tests your knowledge and ability to do mental calculations? Which choice of numbers makes calculations accurate for the expression below? And you are presented with the expression, two items in parentheses multiplied, and then after that, you need to subtract a third number, and the result will be equal to 25. You have four different choices, 536, choice B, 625, choice C, 743, and choice D, 231. You cannot use calculator to solve this challenge. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the solution together. To get to the solution, you need to remember one word, PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. This is the order of operations you need to keep in mind. Parentheses first, powers and roots next, multiplication and division before adding and subtracting. So in this case, we need to multiply 7 by 4 first, then subtract 3 to get to the result of 25. And the correct solution is obviously choice C, 7, 4, 3. Hopefully you've nailed this question, but in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out my ebook in the description section of this video. Let's look at the real life assessment test question, which validates your ability to do mental math. Which choice of numbers makes calculations accurate for the expression below? And you have two groups of numbers. The first one is in parentheses, choices 1 and 2, and you have an expression presented to you on the screen, which equals 6, and four different choices for the numbers. Choice A, 5723. Choice B, 6259. Choice C, 8791. And choice D, 7312. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. To get to the correct solution, you need to always remember that calculations in parentheses are done first, and you need to pick up the numbers that match the end result. The end result of this expression is 6. The correct combination of numbers is choice A, 5, 7, 2, 3. Let's verify this. 5 plus 7 equals 12. 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. 12 minus 6 equals 6. Hopefully you've nailed this question. And now remember that you need to use keyword PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses first, powers and roots next, multiplication and divisions before addition and subtraction. And PEMDAS itself basically represents the first character, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, which represents the order of operations. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions in the test. Let's look at the interesting question which you should be able to solve in under 30 seconds. What is the new order of the objects after shapes have been switched? And you have before order of the objects and then after order of the objects. And you have four different possible answers. 4, 2, 5, 3, 1. Choice B, 5, 2, 4, 3, 1. Choice C, 4, 2, 1, 3, 5. And then choice D, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. Do you think you know the answer? Try to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Typically in the test, you have no more than 30 seconds to answer these types of questions. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see if you can solve this challenge together. To get to the correct answer, you need to take one shape at a time and draw a mental line from the before position of the shape into the new after position. For example, if we take a red shape, it was in the position 1 before, and we draw a mental line 
it will be in the position 4 after. So the first choice here would be choice 4. If we take the second shape, it stayed in place. So it didn't change the position and it maintained in the position 2. If we take the third shape, third shape moved to the position 5. So the first three choices would be 4, 2, 5. If we look at list of possible choices, you see that the 4, 2, 5 is part of the answer A as well as part of the answer D. So we need to continue and figure out the remaining object. And if you look and try to trace the object, you see that the correct answer is choice D, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. Hopefully you've answered this question correctly. If you know a better way to solve it, please share in the comment section of this video. And in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out my ebook in the description section of this video. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks to help you pass employment assessment test now in 2021. Let me share with you tips and tricks to succeed in the assessment test in 2021. Number one is be prepared to take assessment test at home. Due to COVID, a lot of companies are switching to that mode. Keep in mind that you might be monitored and timed. Also, if you don't know and it's not provided in the documentation, ask your provider or administrator how to handle bathroom visits and phone calls and other important things that are part of your daily life. Number two is research the company. Check which provider administers tests for them. Research the provider themselves. A lot of times providers might have sample questions from the test on their website. And last but not least in this category is anticipate questions based on the job position. For example, if you're applying for accountant job or bookkeeper job, you might be asked to pass Excel assessment test. Nothing new this year as item number three shows you need to practice, practice and practice right before the test. The best way to do it is to refresh your hands-on skills and then take the practice tests. And number four, last but not least, if you didn't pass, reflect after the test. Review test results, understand all of your mistakes, take notes, and use reflections to get ready for your next test. Some of you might find this question tricky, but regardless of whether you can come up with the solution on your own, you will be excited to learn the solution to this real-life assessment test question. What is the new order of the objects after shapes have been switched? You're presented with before picture of four objects and after picture of the same objects but in a different order and four different choices to determine new positions after switching. Choice A, 3, 4, 2, 1. Choice B, 2, 1, 4, 3. Choice C, 2, 3, 4, 1. And choice D, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Did you come up with the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge together. To determine new positions of the objects, you need to mentally move them from its original position to the new position. For example, let's trace a blue triangle, which flows from the position one to the position four, which means that in the after answer, the block four for the new object would be 1. Another example, if we trace green triangle, it moves from the position 4 to the position 2. So 2 spot in the after position would have number 4. We've determined that the 4 spot will have 1 and the second spot will have 4. And this way you can trace all the objects and determine new positions of the objects and then calculate the correct answer. In this case, the correct answer is choice A, 3, 4, 2, 1, the challenge is that you need to do all this math mentally. And once you do it, and typically you have limited amount of time to do it. But hopefully you've nailed this question and answered it correctly. But in case you need more questions or practice problems like this, please make sure to check out my ebook in the description section of this video. Let's look at the interesting problem, which tests your ability to do mental math. Which choice of numbers makes calculations accurate for the expression below. And you have an expression with two numbers in parentheses, second number subtracted from the first number, multiplied by the third number. And the result of the expression is equal 21. You have four different choices, 7A2, choice B, 967, choice C, 985, choice D, 761. You cannot use the calculator to solve this challenge. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. 
Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. To solve this challenge correctly, you need to remember that calculations are first done inside parentheses. First, you need to find the set of numbers, and the final result from parentheses would need to be multiplied by the third number. The combination which matches this is choice C, 9, 6, 7. Let's validate. 9 minus 6 equals 3. 3 multiplied by 7 equals 21. The key word to remember here is the word PEMDAS. You do calculations in parentheses first, you do powers and roots next, and then you calculate multiplications, divisions, before doing additions and subtractions. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment tests faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have a community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.